It's taking action for you. A church is destroyed after a driver crashed right into it. Members say they still want to stay open so they can continue to give people of faith a place to go, but they're going to need some help rebuilding. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram has more on this story. Church members say a driver crashed into this church, it came through this wall, and now this is what's left. The truck came in through there, must have came in over here, and the whole entire truck was sitting right over here. Concrete blocks, beams, drywall, and debris are all you see when you walk into Christ First Church on Livernoy on Detroit's west side. It hit it with such force that it knocked the pews that were beautiful like this. <laughs> all the way up there into the pulpit and, and, and it, it, you can see up there they're all destroyed. Police say on February 6th around noon, sadly a driver had a medical emergency, veered off the road and slammed into the church dying. Since church members have been praying for his family while trying to figure out how to rebuild their house of worship. First glance, what went through your mind? I wanted to cry. I couldn't believe it was this much. Because when you see it, it from the outside, it doesn't look like it could be this messed up on the inside. The center post was knocked down, and that's the only part that scares me because that supported the roof. Tragedies are commonplace. I look forward to coming here with my children. I have a five month old and I have a two and a half year old. And um, I've watched my husband and his dad work on this church, you know, and to come in here and see this is just is really devastating. I'm devastated. I mean, me and my wife we were married, you know, by the pastor over here. This is a family church that has been around for about 30 years. Deacon Walter Johnson says it's been hard for parishioners too. We used to have Bible study here, so we go online now to have Bible study over the phone on the Wednesdays, and then we also we visit with another uh, church. With the church not having any insurance, members say they'll now have to rebuild one brick at a time. We need help. We need a lot of help. We just want to you know, rebuild this church and help the people in the community and let people know that God is still doing miracles here. And if you would like to help this a church a rebuild, go to our website, WXYZ.com, to find out how you can help. In Detroit, Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.